Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. You know, with the addition the Baltimore Ravens made today, adding Michael Huff, three years, $6 million, to bolster that back part of their defense at the safety position. You know, they add Huff, uh, th 30 years old Huff is, definitely not over the hill, six years in the league, an established starter in the league. You add Michael Huff, you added Elvis Dumerville last week, and the question now is, if the Ravens are able to add a veteran and maybe a rookie at the inside linebacker spot and plug the hole at safety led by, left by Bernard Pollard, is this Ravens defense better than it was even last year? And I ask this question for this reason. Their defensive line, their front three, because they play a 3-4, I think is upgraded already. When you're able to stick Haloti Nada in the middle permanently, with Marcus Spears and Chris Canty flanking him, I think that's an upgrade over last year. You take the pass rush. Elvis Dumerville, I think, is a more proven commodity than Paul Kruger. I think the numbers bear that out. So if I'm going to give big money to one of those, I think the Ravens made the right decision in letting Kruger go. And did things work out for them that Dumerville happened to have this whole uh, situation happen with the fax machine and with the Broncos? Yes. But Ozzie Newsom took advantage of it, and now I look at their pass rush as being improved from last year. The inside linebacker spot's the one spot where they have to improve. And if they can get adequate bodies in there, I think this is where you hear the talk start to happen that maybe their defense is even better than last year. Okay, because they have to replace the on-field presence and leadership of Ray Lewis, which is not going to happen overnight. But they got to get a solid veteran at one of those inside linebacker spots. And I look for them to spend an early draft pick at the inside linebacker spot as well. If they can do that, they have Ladarius Webb, again, coming back from injury, which I think is an upgrade over any cover guy that they had last year. You now have Michael Huff as a safety. Okay, look for them to plug the hole um, at the other cornerback position, uh, left vacant by Kerry Williams. And then again, look for them to replace uh, the Bernard Pollard spot in that defense. And look, I think if they're able to plug at least three of those four holes I just mentioned with adequate NFL starters, I think with their pass rushers and their defensive line are so much better right now than they were last year that it can mask a lot of problems they may have in the back end of that defense, And which is why I think this defense for the Ravens in the coming weeks and months could again be a strength of the team to go along with an offense that I think is, is has grown every year and is ready to take that next step forward. So, you know, leave it to Ozzie Newsome, uh, who I think is, is uh, I think personally, is the best uh, talent evaluator and GM in the league. He knows right when to let people go. He knows how to draft. If you notice, they always take the best player available. And over the course of time, that strategy to me always wins out in the draft. And I think Newsom will do that again. I think he does, however, need to plug needs here, uh, especially at the inside linebacker spot. Get a good free agent to fill the other spot. You know, a guy that's maybe lying in the weeds here, a veteran that hasn't been signed. And then, of course, uh, address the secondary issues. And I think you could be talking about a defense, again, like I said before, uh, that's a quality defense. Um, I love the addition of Michael Huff. I think he's exactly what they need, a stable veteran presence at that safety spot. Is his ceiling as high as Ed Reed's? Obviously not. But he's, in, I think, an above-average safety in this league that in the Ravens system can really shine. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the moves the Ravens have been making. Do you agree with me in saying uh, that – one or two more moves and some infusion of some youth to build upon, and this defense could be better than the defense last year. I know it's a lot of what is, but you can kind of see this defense taking shape and how it might be one of the better units uh, in the league, if not next year, certainly in the years to come. So let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at S News Analysis. Guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm talking football and sports on here. Uh, all day, 510 Sports Talk videos a day. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for listening, and have a great day.